Finally this Sunday, our Face the State flashback. A huge racial barrier was broken 30 years ago this year in Connecticut. For the first time, a black candidate, Gary Franks, was elected to represent our state in Congress. We have this report from the Channel 3 archives filed by David Ushery in November of 1990. 37-year-old Gary Franks emerged the victor in a race that had national eyes on it. Fifth District voters remained faithful to their conservative roots and replaced John Rowland with his political protege. Connecticut lost a great public servant tonight in John Rowland, but John will be back and we will all be there to help John when he comes back. Insiders say Rowland's influence in his home district was the key for Franks, a three-term Waterbury alderman. Early indications suggested a Moffitt victory after he took the district's bigger cities. But late numbers from the smaller conservative Fairfield County towns pushed Franks over the top, especially with the absence of a strong Democratic contender for governor. We were swimming upstream against the impossible tide, as you know, in this district. It was a race that attracted national attention and asked the voters of the 5th district to do something unusual. Either buck their conservative trend and elect the liberal Moffitt, or send the nation's first black Republican to the House in more than 50 years. They chose the latter. Among those who congratulated Franks by phone was President Bush, who campaigned for him and welcomed him to Washington. David Ushery, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Waterbury. And that's the way it was 30 years ago in our state. David Ushery, of course, is now uh, an anchor at WNBC in New York, and Gary Franks has been on this program since his election, and he is now an author and an advisor. We thank you so